what are you trusting God for in this season? What, my friend, are you daring to believe God for? Are you truly using your faith like God wants you to? Today, we will be looking at what it really means to have faith and why you may not be seeing the results that you expect to see in your life yet. God may not be manifesting in your life as you desire it to be. You know, you are made for great things. There is a witness in your heart or in your spirit that tells you that you have been made for more. You are made for glorious things. You are made for signs and for wonders. You may have a word from God where he's told you this personally or maybe you found it in the scriptures and you know it is written for you. Or it may be only the inner witness that you have in your heart. You may be hearing it for the first time today and if you are, I pray for you that God is giving you a revelation even this very moment of the glorious destiny that he has called you to live. You, my friend, were made for signs and wonders. You were made to show forth the glory of God on the earth as a child of God. This, my friend, is why God tells you over and over again in scripture things like you are the light of the world you are like a city set upon a hill you are the salt of the earth that's in the book of matthew the fifth chapter from the 14th to the 16th verse because he wants you to know that you are not average you are not the same as everyone else god my friend has a vision for your life when he made you and it was not a small one. God had something in mind that only you would be able to do and that is why he made you so. You may be saying right now that you know all this. Maybe you have heard all this before and you know it already but you can't understand why everything just feels so ordinary and yet you still have that desire in your heart for more. Somewhere in your spirit you know that God has called you for more but you can't see it yet what then is the problem if god is not a man that he should lie then why does it seem like there will be no manifestation of god's word to you why does it seem like god's word for your life will not come to pass like it is so far away and nothing right now signifies that it is being worked out at all today my friend i'd like to challenge you to not just have faith but to work out your faith one of the reasons why God's word can be delayed in your life is the absence of sufficient faith to see it come to pass. What does this mean? I'd like to share with you something that Jesus shared with his disciples to help you understand better. It's in the book of Matthew, the 21st chapter, where we see Jesus Christ curse a fig tree because it was barren. He was angry and it had leaves, which usually signifies fruit in fig trees, but when he went up to it, there was no fruit on this particular tree, only leaves. And so he cursed it and said that it would not bear any fruit any longer. The Bible tells us that the fig tree dried up immediately. The disciples, of course, were shocked. They had never seen anything like that. And so they asked Jesus how he was able to do it. How did the tree dry up so quickly? They asked, listen to what he says in response. In the book of Matthew, the 21st chapter from the 21st verse, he says, truly, my friends, I tell you, Jesus replied, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only will you do what was done to this fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. The first thing you say is, if you have faith, do you have faith, dear child of God? Do you have faith that God can really do that thing that he has laid in your heart? Do you have faith that he can work a miracle in that situation like you think he can? Do you have faith that he can change your life and your family like he has said he wants to? Do you have faith that nothing, absolutely nothing, is impossible to your God? Sometimes we let the enemy deceive us into thinking that we don't have faith or that the faith we have is not enough. That you will require lots of faith and just don't have it as of yet. But the Bible tells you that God has given unto you every man a measure of faith as he needs and that the faith of Jesus is at work in you also. So 
The question is not whether you have faith or not, because you do have faith. The question is, are you using your faith? Take note, my friend, of what Jesus says next. Not only will you do what was done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. What is Jesus saying here? He is showing you the reason why you may be believing for something and you still find it difficult to see the results you desire in your life because you are not using your faith. Jesus is telling us here, it is not enough to have faith. You have got to use your faith. You have got to put your faith into action. You've got to make your faith work. You've got to give God something to work with or to respond to, whether it is by speaking or doing something else. Your faith cannot just remain on the inside of you and bring you results. You have got to use it. You've got to practice with it. You've got to take steps with it. In fact, my friend, the problem is not that you don't have faith, child of God. The problem is that you have not been taking steps based on your faith. When God gives a word for your life or a situation, it is great that you believe him. But if your believing does not make you take an action or take any steps in the direction of what he said, it is not enough. This, my friend, is what James meant when he said, Thus, also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works and I will show you my faith by my works. And this is in the book of James, the second chapter, the 17th and the 18th verse. Yes, you have heard and you believe that God is going to do great and wondrous things with your life. How, my friend, are you preparing for it? What steps are you taking that shows that you really believe it? What books are you reading? What are you doing to invest in that great picture that you see? Yes, my friend, you may have received the word of God for your new relationship or for your finances. What are you learning to help prepare you for when you get there? Beloved, faith is not just talk. It is not cheap talk. It is hard work. Faith doesn't just say and doesn't just wait. Faith moves. Faith acts. Faith can move mountains because faith has to move. God, my friend, may be asking you to apply for that position and because it doesn't look like what he said, you are skeptical. Trust that as long as God is the one who is leading you, you will get to the destination he has prepared for you. You may have faith in your heart. You may have the vision in your heart. But it must be worked out. If Jesus had not spoken to the fig tree, it never would have dried up. If you never work the work or take the steps that God is showing you, you will never end up at your place of promise. No matter how much you believe in the vision, God will lead you and he will fulfill the vision. But you have got to work the work. You have got to do what he tells you to. You've got to prepare, my friend. You've got to put yourself out there when he makes a way for you too. No matter how scary, hard or uncomfortable it may be, resolve to work out your faith from today and begin to see yourself reap the fruits in every area of your life from today in Jesus' precious holy name. God bless you even as you continue to stay in faith, to take actions that lines up with your faith and to walk not doubting in your heart. May God help you. Amen.